Good morning, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this online session. We're talking parabolic troughs today, and as you know, we have been going through different um, construction uh, analysis or sessions, you know, looking at um, what is going on in the design and construction of projects. As you know, CSP projects are more complicated than their PV brothers and sisters. So we're looking into how this technology and these uh, techniques are evolving over time and how they're getting more efficient and etc. And today we're looking at parabolic trough. As you know, parabolic trough is still to date the most um, deployed uh, CSP technology. And we have with us today people uh, that have a lot of experience in building parabolic trough plants. Um, and they actually present uh, through the globe. And they've been involved in different uh, plants. So with us today, Enrique from Catro. Enrique, good morning. Can you say, uh, tell us a little bit about you, just a little bit, and where you're joining from, please. Uh, hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. Uh, okay, so uh, uh, thank you for the invitation to be in this uh, this conference, online conference uh, webinar. Uh, I'm going to tell you to tell you our experience uh, from the side of the commissioning. Okay, we we we, uh, we arrived to a project at the end of the the construction when there is no time and no money maybe sometimes to to uh, realize to realize how is the, the cost and how is the uh, problems to face the the from my point of view for uh, the more uh, important uh, stage of uh, the development of the or a project so um i'm going to share my presentation Hang on a minute, hang on a minute, Enrique, just in a minute. Let okay. me just, uh, so Enrique is joining us today from A Coruña. Um, I'm joining from Madrid and I think Cristina is joining us momentarily. She's uh, she's already there, but you know, she's joining us momentarily and she's joining from Seville, okay? So let us uh, ask you guys where you're joining from, share on the, on the, on the chat, make sure that you put also all attendees. And I am going to actually ask uh, my colleague to let the screen go so that Enrique can prepare his screen. And just a reminder for everybody out there, remember that the chat um, is available for you guys to talk to each other, you know, say where you're from, what companies, you know, uh, what geographies. And we also have the question and answer uh, box at the bottom. And you can just uh, send us there any questions for Enrique or for Cristina. Enrique. Have you got your presentation ready? I cannot hear you at the moment. And uh, I'd like to also say hi to Christian from Cobra in Madrid, from Jaime from Mount McDonald, uh, Steve from London, we have Hassan from Tunisia and Luis from Lisbon. Enrique? Okay. Oh, okay. Can you put the presentation up? Okay. Perfect. Okay. So now you can deliver your presentation. Thank you very much, Enrique. Okay. Gonna, we can see. Can you put that in a large screen? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh... You're good to go. Okay. Go ahead. So uh, this is a presentation of uh, lesson learning to optimize the construction to commission, the path between construction and commissioning, because it's a very tight uh, line between the two stages. So uh, uh, I'm the commercial manager of Catro. Yeah. So Catro is a, a, a company uh, focusing uh, in commissioning of every every kind of power plants so uh, yes uh, but we don't only do a uh, commissioning we we do supervision and commissioning for power plants and engineering from from uh, from the consultancy uh, for instance 
uh, protect, protection settings, relays, uh, every, every kind of uh, problems that can arise around, around the, the development of a power plant. Uh, and of course, operation and maintenance. Maintenance, uh, of, uh, it means predictive test of electrical and instrumentation and control. So you, you can see some pictures, some pictures and photos, not non-professional pictures, because uh, the pictures that, that I use in the slides always are in, uh, pictures taken take by, by our technicians. So because we have an internal competition in, in our company, internal competition every year to uh, check the, the pictures, the, the photos that the technicians sent to us in the uh, commissioning of power plants uh, all around the world. So um, we are in like, a lot of countries, but uh, this is this slide you can check uh, at the end of the presentation. Uh, we are uh, leave for for ATA, and I I take the, the opportunity to, to say thank you to Belen and Araceli because uh, it's a pleasure to be in this in this uh, webinar. So uh, our main clients, um, our experience in uh, power plants like CSP in Parabolic True for Avengoa, Acciona in Israel, in Arabia Saudi, South Africa, of course. And we go ahead uh, in the what what we concern to to face the development the development of a power plant in on field. So when we focus. Uh, uh, we, we face a new, a, uh, a, new, a new project in CSP, or not CSP, it, it, that, uh, that I say applies to a uh, communist cycle, for instance. Uh, the main problem is to, uh, uh, you can read in the slide, avoid delays in construction and commission of the plant, maximize the generation, of the performance generation at the end of the plant, of course, and avoid non-regular maintenance stoppages. That all improve the efficiency and the efficacy uh, uh, of the lifespan of the plant. So, uh, to define the framework, the, fr the framework of the, uh, every project, you have three separate stages, separate phases: construction, commission, and preparation. The, pro the construction starts from the uh, earth moving, uh, the assembling, the suppliers of the every kind of uh, package systems and the previous test of the commission. In previous test, it means tightening and uh, uh, resistance measurement of the isolate is of the isolators. The commissioning uh, starts with the, that previous test. Can we repeat? Okay, uh, there is a ring. Uh, okay. Don't worry, Enrique. That was Christina logging in. You're good. Keep going. <laughs> okay. Okay. So we con I continue. So uh, the commissioning is uh, uh, that is all the tests that we do uh, along the along the commissioning by a team of of technicians with uh, equipment with protocols. Not only to be. It's not a a couple or uh, several uh, freelancing in a, in the field. It's a lot of people uh, composing a team of people that uh, are going to test and to start up and energize a plant and then finalize the preparation. So which is the needs of uh, the needs over construction and commissioning stages, which is the needs is to avoid every kind of delays, uh, every kind of stoppages, uh, every kind of failures. Uh, what we need, uh, not only construction, uh, even commissioning, is the engineering assistance for the modification. Because when you uh, face a, a, a new project, you have a, 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 a engineering memory, uh, but maybe it's a copy of another another project so so uh, there uh, 
there is a lot of uh, mistakes that uh, will arise around the, uh, along the, the project. So, uh, minimize construction failures, both in the execution of the assembly and its planning, and control, uh, control uh, optimization of the turnover, the turnover between erection, erecting, uh, erection, uh, the, the assembly, the construction to the commissioning, because we, uh, when the construction is uh, about to finalize, there is uh, maybe three, three kinds of pending points, a, B, and C. You can uh, you can start the, the the commissioning with pending points like A because it's uh, things that things that can be uh, solved along the commissioning. Uh, the commissioning and the uh, construction uh, share the share the this uh, the search time along the de development. Okay, but it's very important. It's very important is uh, analyze the two rover property packages because it's the start of the commissioning. And of course, the execution of the commissioning by specialized companies, not freelance. What means a commissioning by specialized companies? Uh, when you see when you see uh, the, the commissioning team, uh, okay, in the field, in the plant, uh, you have uh, maybe six electricians, six, six or seven instrumentation technicians, mechanical, but uh, there is not only the people. There are a background, the, a background uh, in a, a remote office that uh, is very necessary. So you have the team, not only freelance, integrated technician in a company, all with a high work qualification and experience and working together to solve all the problems because the problems are very, very, very connected one, one each other. You have uh, to, to solve a problem with the wiring, but the wiring is connected to the motor and the motor starts a pump. And uh, this wiring uh, have, uh, have connected to the, uh, to the motor to feed the motor and the motor uh, must to, um, um, to, to turn a pump in one in direction or another direction. So it's very important to, to think about it because uh, the construction uh, uh, is uh, connect this, this motor in the same way always, but not in, this, in the way that this pump must, uh, must work. So uh, the team have to use uh, test equipment. Uh, in Catro, for instance, uh, because it's my experience, we have uh, 12 years uh, putting service uh, power plants all around the world. Uh, not only not only CSP, even even carbon plants, even combined cycles in biomass. So uh, the test equipment to face the test equipment to face a, the commission of a CSP. It entails about uh, three uh, three hundred thousand euros per per, per plan. Uh, is the value of reposition the the, the test equipment? For instance, a uh, sweet case of CM, CMC CMC for to uh, to secondary injection relays have a cost of uh, fifty thousand euros. So. This kind of uh, test equipment uh, entails a, a training, a protocols, and a way to use it. And of course, under this this team and test equipment are a know-how, procedures for functional tests, test protocols, test protocols uh, with the, uh, the approval of the EPC contractor. Uh, sometimes the EPC contractor uh, Abengoa, Tenica Reunidas, uh, Cobra, have his own uh, protocols. But if, if, it is, if it's not, we have other protocols. And we, we, have, we, we can adapt these protocols to the, to the protocols of the EPC contractor. Because at the end, uh, these protocols will, uh, will fulfill fulfilled by, by our, our technicians, the commission technicians. And of course, 
uh, the office support. What is the office support? Uh, they, along the development of the uh, project, uh, a lot of uh, incong uh, mistakes of the engineering, uh, draw draw drawings without uh, lines or uh, a PNID, incomplete PNID, must to be completed along the commissioning of the or along the construction. It's very important to have a company for the commissioning who has a engineering consultancy online. Online it means uh, with uh, always always available to to solve any problem of the commission. I say that because I am, I understand that the engineering department of the EPC are not always in the development of the project because the engineering department of the EPC have a lot of projects and when, um, for instance, when CASU is about to, the CSP CASU in South Africa is about to fina finalize the, the, the engineering department of uh, Abengoa in this case, are focused in what is a mal project, for instance. So um, you need a commissioning, a commissioning company with uh, its own co uh, engineering consultancy department. So uh, go, going to the point of the main problems, you have the solar field. I, I structure in three, three kinds of, uh, of problems. The solar field, the packages, plant suppliers, and generating for modification. In the solar field, um, we, we, just, we uh, sometimes we think it's very easy because it's very repetitive, uh, very simple, but a uh, uh, very little mistake in a sensor, in a temp temp temperature sensor, or uh, the, the calibration of a tracker, eh? Are, uh, it means uh, a lot of problems because one year, one mistake multiplies because when, when you calibrate the sensor on, on one loop, one loop of the solar field, you have the same loops multiplied by 50 or by 300 loops per solar field. So it's very important to, to pay attention in the early stage of the commissioning or the commission of the solar field. Um, we think, we see that uh, we can solve this problem putting a supervision, a, a commission supervision al along the construction. Uh, for example, uh, we make the commissioning of uh, key solar one in South Africa, uh, only the commissioning we don't we didn't do any support to the construction we uh, arrive at the plant in key only for the commissioning and um, in despite of the problems of the of the problems of in key because uh, i i know they, they there were some problems with the tower the the commission real time for the commissioning was uh, 14 months 14 months but in the other plant of South Africa, Kachu, Kachu Solar One, in Kachu Solar One, we uh, cut reserves uh, before the commissioning, a uh, supervision, supervising, supervision of the construction with one commissioning technician for electrical and one commissioning technician for instrumentation. Okay, uh, we we uh, short uh, from. 14 months to eight months of commissioning. In eight months, the, 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 the plant was ready, ready to sell megawatts to, to, the, to the network. So uh, we recommend always have a, a independent company who supervise the construction. It's, uh, it, um, of course, it's more expensive than a usual supervisor. Construction supervisor is more expensive, but uh, you earn money uh, because you uh, you sort the, the commissioning the, the, the commissioning stage. Okay, uh, suppliers suppliers in, of package plants. Uh, the commissioning team is an integrator of the commissioning. 
is a director of the commission, not, not commissioning all the, all the elements. You have some suppliers, package, package suppliers like uh, the HCF, HCF boilers, the inverters, the frequency variator, the solar trackers, the gland steam boiler. So uh, the supplier uh, su supplies, uh, of course, the, the, the element, and this element rests in the field connected uh, up to the commissioning stage. But you need a, a, you need a support of the commissioning. It means the the owner of the inverters means uh, uh, where uh, in in the team he the inverters and have his own technician of commissioning. But uh, he don't he don't connect the inverters to the other uh, to the other uh, equipment. So you need a, a commission support commissioning, supporting of the, co the commissioning, you need to support in the commissioning of the package plans. Uh, for instance, well, well, uh, including the contractual schedule, two separate assistants, one for supply and one for commissioning, or uh, putting close to the commissioning estates, the supplier of the uh, solar trackers, for instance. But it's impossible, you know, because the solar trackers must be put in field at the as, uh, early stage of the development of the, of the plant. Um, the thing, the, the, there is another thing that I have said uh, before, it's the engineering modifications. On-site is necessary uh, as support for the, the resolution of conflicts or the modification in the drawings. So, um, uh, more examples, 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 uh, example, typical examples of the usual mistakes of the of the construction. Uh, I say things that maybe don't, don't like to the construction companies, but it not, it's not uh, its fault. It's a fault of the schedule of the schedule and the planning of the development of the of the um, of the project. So, uh, for instance, in the, in the molten salt storage, the assembled valves, the construction put a valve in, in one direction or, or the opposite direction because are very similar. The, the both sides are very, 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 is very similar. So, uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes a commissioning detected and uh, Call to the construction to change this valve in the sense of the valve. The wiring, uh, the cables, the cables feed uh, feed uh, a motor of, or communicates a signal. Okay, the construction uh, uh, test and check if the cable communicates, but not not always the suitable signal because uh, one signal is for. Uh, alarm or one signal is for a measurement or one signal is for whatever. Um, I, I put this this uh, these uh, examples, but there is a lot of more examples. Uh, okay, for instance, uh, several times the interlocks between submitted substation in the solar field they are forgotten. There, there is no interlocks. It's very important for the maintenance put interlocks between midi substations. Or um, in the HCF system, the joint silicon by Teflon instead of graphene because uh, the, the function is the same, but uh, it's not uh, suitable because the erosion of the, H the HCF liquid uh, erases the Teflon. So our experience for to finalize is put supervision of the construction by very qualified commission technicians. We have uh, our team of, of the of, of commission team have uh, different levels of experience. Uh, I think you need the construction needs a medium high level of the uh, technician commissioning to supervise this this the, the construction, at least in the last stage of the of the construction, and this. This man, this technician, will be later integrated in the commissioning team. And of course, repeat the previous test. Tightening and contact conditions and insulation resistant measurements must be repeated 
Why? Because uh, when construction uh, make the insulator resistant measurement of a cable, uh, then there is, um, for instance, three or four months after, after uh, the, before the commissioning, and maybe there is a could be uh, any uh, incident to which um, uh, uh, damage damage the, the 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 cable, the the cover of the cable, or or maybe the the cell of the cable. So the conclusion. We have three more minutes, okay? Oh, you're getting to the conclusions. Excellent. <laughs> I can repeat the, the presentation if you want. <laughs> so the conclusion is to have uh, independent companies construction and commissioning. Sometimes um, some clients uh, tell us, okay, for the construction, for the for this CSP, for, for this power plant, we have a construction company uh, and then we have, uh, we need three, four people, technicians, commission technicians only, to supervise the construction commissioning. How, uh, what, what is this? This is, this is a mistake. This is a mistake because uh, the, the construction have not the knowledge of the, the commissioning. It means uh, to test, to, 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 to make the performance test, the, 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 the face, the, the mission of the, of the face angles of, of, uh, of a network. There is a lot of things that needs commissioning uh, knowledge. So the second is to optimize, optimize the, the as build drawings of construction documentation. It means that uh, the, part, the, the, the modification of the, uh, along the construction must be, uh, uh, must be uh, put in the drawings. So the drawing more, uh, must be modif modified. And the third, the, the turnover, the turnover must uh, we must take care of the pending points because uh, the, um, this the pending point is 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 what uh, improves the efficiency and the efficiency of the lifespan of the plant. So uh, of course uh, it's, it's not publicized, it's not advertising that uh, the commission must be carried out by, by specialized companies. Okay, so. Thank you Start very much for your attention. There I is your email if anyone has any further questions after the webinar, but I would ask you now to stop sharing your screen so that Christina can share hers. And I think the point there is commissioning is its own thing. You know, you need to know what you're doing. Um, mm -hmm. Can you stop sharing at the top of the screen, please, Enrique? Uh, yeah. And now we're going to hear from the construction side in Christina's case. Hi, Christina. Welcome. I know that you had to rush today to get here, so we thank you very much for the for the effort. Uh, we appreciate you being here with us today. Hello, Belen. Uh, sorry Yay. for the delay. <laughs> I have run a lot <laughs> to be here. But you're here, so we're I'm very here, happy. Finally. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So uh, just put your screen in, in large mode and then start yes. your presentation. And we have a few questions already. So remember to send them through the Q&A box. We'll get to as many as possible. And perfect. Off we go. Uh, let me confirm what you see. The presentation with comment or the official presentation? No, nope, the official presentation is okay, perfect. perfect. It's in a large screen. Perfect. Okay, so firstly, I want to say hello to all the participants in this uh, webinar. My presentation is a summary um, of some aspects to consider in the construction and operation of the parabolic plan. This uh, summary uh, came from our experience, and let me, let me move the presentation, yeah, from the experience that Avengoa has because uh, we have built and operate more than uh, 1,500 megawatt. We have built more than 10 million of the square meter of mirrors. We have melt more than 220,000 tons of molten salt. Um, we have operated more than 20 power block. Um, if we talk about construction, uh, we must highlight one of the key uh, systems, the solar field. 
its implementation on site must be adequate in order to guarantee the operation of the plant. For that, we are going to talk about the component of the solar field like collector, tubes, mirror, or HDF system. Uh, Arangoa has an R&D engineering department continuously working on new collector design. To do this, uh, we use CFD model, wind tunnel, or F FEM and calculation in order to optimize new structure. If we have a new design validated by calculation, uh, the validation of prototype on the field is a mandatory requirement. Uh, this validation must also approve assembly procedure and optical efficiency. Um, um, for this, we have an optical department in charge of the validation of optical efficiency, as well as the development of procedure for optical evaluation on site. Uh, these procedures are based on photogrammetry and deflectometry. Finally, Regarding the uh, collector manufacturing process during the construction of commercial plants, um, we, uh, the models are built in a workshop where, where we define and manufacture a line design for the assembly uh, with a quality supervision and process control implemented on site. Following this methodology, we evolved from aerotraft collector, that was our first structure in our solar field, to E2 collector. The E2 collector has been the most used structure in our commercial plan in the past. And now we have also uh, evolved from E2 to a space tube, a larger aperture collector design. This advanced structure was designed and validated by Avengoa and is now in operation in a commercial plant. This collector has an aperture of 8.2 meter. Uh, the design has an improved assembly procedure to achieve a greater manufacturing efficiency and is capable of rotating 240 degrees. The stop position in this design is in both directions, east and west. Um, with this design, with the space, uh, space tube, uh, we have improved the thermal efficiency of the salt field, and uh, we have a greater compacti compactability, uh, reducing the extension of the solar field. The Second commenting key component of the solar field is the mirror. In this component, uh, the reflectivity is one of the main parameters to be monitored. Uh, the warranty by uh, average reflectivity of this mirror is higher than 94.5. And to validate this, it's necessary to uh, measure the spectral and spherical reflections periodically. Uh, to do it, we use an equipment developed by Avengoa, the Condor, and we define an inspection plan with a frequency of inspection of two measurement per shift. During the construction, uh, the assembly of tube, of, of receiver tube, on the solar field is another key aspect to, to comment. Um, for this, we must highlight the alignment on site and the validation of focusing strategies. After mechanical assembly, uh, the evaluation of efficiency must be carried out, and for which uh, a vacuum evaluation and an optical and thermal evaluation uh, is carried out. In addition, we recommend the installation of the shield to protect the glass metal welding. And uh, with, this, uh, uh, with this shield, we increase uh, the thermal efficiency of the system. Uh, let us indicate the need uh, for a periodic cleaning 
that guarantee the parameter in tubes and mirrors. And uh, we have two different types of cleaning depending on the tracking arm use. We have the scrap cleaning and the lac cleaning. But in general, in general, sorry, the characteristics of the system are we use high uh, water pressure, we use noxel to spray uh, the absorbed tube, we use a control system for automatic arm movement and camera and lighting for uh, night cleaning. And to conclude the solar field component, we must talk about the heat transfer fluid. Uh, the oil to be used as heat transfer fluid is an effective mixture of a diphenyl oxide and bifenyl oxide. And for a satisfactory um, operation of the plant, a thermal oil must be operated about its melting point, about uh, 13 degrees C, and we must uh, take into account the degradation temperature that is near 400 degrees. During the life of the plant, a degradation percentage is considered. Uh, the degradation produces high boiler and a low boiler component as a main result. And the product concentration has an oper operational limit in based on HTF supplier requirement. The last recommendation are 5% in low boiler and 20% in high boiler. Uh, we must consider also uh, the design and construction of the piping system to distribute the cold and the hot uh, HTF. And the main characteristic are, well, the expansion band to decrease uh, thermal, um, thermal stress and the ball joint or flexible hoses to accommodate um, the thermal expansion and allow a different movement between collector. The inspection in ball joint or, or these flexible hoses is one of the most important maintenance tasks during the operation of the solar field. Additionally, expansion vessel is required to provide uh, fluid expansion due to the change in, in density by temperature. Uh, we have the, the nitrogen, this fluid, this, uh, this gas is mandatory in this vessel due to uh, the flammable condition of the HTF and also is needed in order to pressurize the HTF uh, to avoid vaporization. And to finalize, uh, the, hula, the hula system that is installed to eliminate high boiler from the HTF system and uh, to recuperate the vaporized HTF uh, in, in the expansion system. If we talk about a second key system for the operation of parabolic trough collector plan, uh, we should talk about the construction and operation of uh, the molten salt system, the storage system. This is a, a key component in the dispatchability of the plant. We use a binary mixture of sodium nitrate and potassium nitrate in an indirect double tank configuration. In this sense, uh, we must talk about the design and construction of the molten salt tanks. The design must uh, take into account the thermal expansion requirement, the thermal uh, behavior of the tank, the thermal losses allow it, and the thermomechanical validation of the system for its lifetime. And during the construction on site, welding uh, uh, procedure validation, welding execution, and an intensive inspection is, is mandatory. Additionally, the design of the heat exchanger is another key aspect of the thermal storage uh, system. Again, thermomechanical analysis is required to validate design limits and to adjust the operation in order to fulfill the limits. The design must consider uh, high thermal efficiency, uh, low heat losses, 
uh, the drainage process, procedure, sorry, the freezing uh, recovery. And after the construction of this system, the definition of O&M procedure is a critical aspect uh, to be established. Uh, we must define control parameter uh, to uh, guarantee uh, the design efficiency. We could talk about other critical aspects such as uh, the molten, uh, the, the molten, uh, uh, the, the, the molten procedure for, for the soil, or the preheating of the of the system in the commissioning, the assembly of vertical pump with long shaft, or the definition of the heat tracing system. But well, we don't have enough time, and if some body has any specific question well i can ask you at the end of the presentation or by email now i'm going to talk about the operation of the plan and um, basically i'm going to list the existing mode of operation in general we have nine main operation modes the first one is during the night we have the solar field and the power block in our circulation in the circulation during the night. The second is the warm up of a solar field and power block in the morning, where the HDF is preheating in the solar field. Later, uh, we start with solar production, where all the amount of energy absorbed by the solar field is transferred to the water sin cycle and then to the turbine to generate electricity. In operation, we have the fourth uh, uh, mode uh, where uh, we can have production from solar field and accumulation charge in parallel with uh, operation as a priority. The daily weather forecast indicates that there is uh, enough energy to operate full load and accumulate thermal energy at the molten storage system. Here, net generation is prior priorized prioritized, sorry, and the TS system stores uh, the energy surplus. We have also in the fifth mode, mode an operation with uh, uh, production from solar field and accumulation charge. But now uh, the weather forecast point out there is not enough energy to operate for load and accumulate thermal power. In that case, the energy sent to accumulate and energy sent to electric production is balanced to maximize production on a, a priority period. The sixth mode of operation is energy uh, to accumulation. Is all the uh, all the energy in the solar field goes to the storage system. And at the end of the day, we have production from both, from uh, solar field and um, from the TS system. There is uh, thermal energy uh, delivered by the solar field, but uh, the molten solar system contributes to the power generation. Later, we have the operation mode without solar resources. Solar resources. Uh, we work with molten salt accumulated as uh, energy sources. And finally, during the night or long bad uh, weather period, we work in anti-freezing way where the HTF heater are turned on due to a HTF uh, freezing uh, hazard. And here you can see a typical uh, operation day in Kina. Kina Solar One is a parabolic traffic collector plant with a, with a power of 100 megawatt and 5.5 hours of storage. And uh, we can see here uh, the, uh, the night uh, where uh, we are with solar field and power block in uh, the circulation way. Early in the morning, uh, uh, we have here the preheating of the HTF with solar resources. Later, we, we have enough temperature in the oil and we start the production. We can see in the, in the green curve uh, the net production of the plant. 
and we start the charge of the TS system. We can see here in the red line, the level of the health tank of molten salt. At the end of the day, when the uh, solar resources decrease, we are able to maintain the production with the TS system. And here we see how the level of the hot tank decrease. And we maintain the operation during uh, five hours uh, at the end of the day. And to finish uh, the presentation, uh, let me show some picture about Kina where you can see uh, the molten salt tanks, you can see the expansion vessel and the nitrogen tank that we have commented. We have here the molten salt tank, the heat exchanger of the TS system and the air cooler condenser. Here, you can see a picture of the solar field of Kina. And this is uh, the project a reference that Avengo, that Avengoa has uh, built um, operate in the world. So thank you very much for your attention and for any additional information here you have my contact data. You have any question and available for you. Thank you very much Christina that was great. Uh, can you stop sharing yes yeah, so that we can see you guys bigger. And we had a few questions here. Some of them we've already been answering and actually Enrique has done a very good job, you know, just answering some of the questions um, as he goes. Would you mind just stop sharing the screen? I still can see the screen. Yes, let me, I'm, I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> I know, it's so tricky, right? Like it should be a lot easier than it is. Um, okay, so one of the questions here is about commissioning. We had a question about commissioning. So it's the first thing that I'm going to ask is, uh, and this is in both of your opinions. I mean, Christina, you've gone through a lot of commissionings in Avangoa. You guys have a lot of plants. What is the largest or the longest versus the shortest commissioning that you had? Well, it depends if the plant is the first plant with this technology or, uh, or not. It's not uh, the same time for the first a parabolic trap plant here in Spain, where perhaps we can we were near one year that the 13th plant here in Spain, where we have six months in the, in the commission, and depend if you have molten soil system or not, because or is is tower or trap. So you have. Uh, the learning cure is very important and the, if you have or not a storage system is also another factor um, to define the commission the commissioning period so, say for example that you're doing a technology that you already know um, with storage today what would be the minimum that you could expect a commissioning of a parabolic trough csp plant say 100 megawatts eight hour storage, something along those lines, like quite, you know, boilerplate. Could we get it less than six months, maybe three months, four months? Or is that? Yeah, in between three to six, uh, depending on, 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 on the size and, and depending on, of the learning, on the learning cure is possible. But if, of course, I mean, it makes sense. If you were talking about a tower plant or something we know a lot less about, then it will take us longer and it'll probably start earlier actually as you're constructing yes. your commissioning parts of the project. So that was one of them. We had a question about storage and the whole side of how do you think of storage in, in, in the project, whether monotank or you know, two tanks is the right approach. Why, you know, what is the reason why you would go for a monotank or more than salt, what is next? You know, looking at the new technology side of, of construction. Um, yeah, a little bit on the storage is a, is a wide question, but perhaps you guys can give a, a your opinions, you know, will it change what we have at the moment is two tanks, hot and cold. Will it change? Is there a way of making it better? Is there a trend towards making that better or using different materials? Um, for commercial plant, double tank system is our option. Perhaps we can optimize the number of tank, for example, number of hot tank, uh, in tower, uh, in, in parabolic trough, we have um, 
depending on, 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 on the size of the storage. For example, in, in a 100 megawatt plant, we have two tanks. Uh, in in uh, Solana, where uh, we have a plant with 280 megawatt, we have six pair of tanks, so 12 tanks. And in Cerro Dominador, we are going to, uh, to uh, we, we are in the construction of one cold tank and two hot tank. It depends on the operational strategy, the cost of welding uh, works and uh, the flexibility that you want to have in your plan in order to, uh, to define different strategy for the discharge of the TIA system. This is in order to define the number of tank. From the economical point of view, one cold tank and one hot tank is the better option. Uh, in, in the case of new tier system, well, there are a lot of options, but not uh, in, in short term. There are people working in a new uh, material, there are people working in uh, thermocline, uh, they are uh, people working in other technology, but for parabolic trough. And um, for the next uh, year, the, the indirect double tank system is the option. So it's more a financial reason, a design reason, but correct. Okay. So I'm going to ask you three questions, sort of like quick questions that hopefully you can, and then I have one also for Enrique. So one is, what is the average life span of mirrors, which I assume you know? I would say 25 years, but I don't know. And maybe, Christina, you can answer that better. Well, uh, theoretically, this is the life of the plant. <laughs> so we don't have any intention to replace. Of course, we have a spare, uh, a ratio for a spare, but it's due to some wreckage uh, by, um, during the cleaning or uh, or you have a percentage of, 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 of spare. But uh, regarding warranties or reflectivity, uh, regarding the most part of the mirror in the solar field, the life is, is, is the life of the plant. And what kind of pumps are used for very hot molten salts, it says here? You pumps. mean the supplier? Mm. Or the type is vertical? a vertical pan due to the corrosiveness of the salt in the hot in this hot uh, tank and in the cold tank uh, the only difference is the material but in parabolic trough we use the same material the main change is in uh, in in tower where you work with higher temperature and you have higher uh, material requirement in the hot tank in the hot pump but it's a vertical uh, pump uh, located on, on, the top, on the top of the, of the tank. What's clear is you have to go to the pump manufacturer and make sure that they are telling you, they're giving you something that is capable of moving the, either the molten salt or in this case, the HTF, because, you know, of course, you're going to have to have a lot of ways. Right. And the final question that we're going to have, because it's 12.55. Um, what is the, your experience uh, what is, in your experience, the most common problems causing delays during commissioning? Enrique, you can start this one, since you haven't had okay. an answer in them, but not, not, yeah. not by voice. Yes, I think the, the, the response is in the slides, but um, to me more in deep, uh, the, uh, mostly the problems are for construction, for wiring, wiring, dog, uh, wiring does, uh, not connected wiring, or valves in the, in the in the opposite direction, or for instance, uh, instrumental transformers for measurement, instrumental transformer for protection, put in the wrong in the wrong way. So uh, it's very difficult to to different a instrumental transformer for protection to instrumental transformer for protection. But uh, the, 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 the focus is 
very, very different. So one, one is protected the plant and the, the other one is to measure, to, to make the measurement of how, uh, how many megabytes you are sold and you are in, injecting in the network. Christina, you want to add something? No. What are the biggest issues in commissioning? There is another question for you, which is how is the Solana plant operating? You've seen it, I think. How's that going, Solana? Uh, well, Solana is a really big plant, so we have had uh, uh, a problem uh, according to the size of the plant, but now it's, uh, it's operating quite well. Uh, well, we have uh, solved some of the problems that we have had in, in, in the plan, and now everything is uh, working perfectly in the different systems. I, I think that after, up until DIGUA 700 is, is operating, your plan is actually going to be, Solana is going to be the largest, right, in, um, in size, unless you consider Nord to be just one instead of three, I suppose. So it's quite a big challenge, actually. You guys have knowledge on the scales that many other yes. people don't for the time being. Yes. And I have to say also congratulations on starting operation, well, construction in Cerro Dominador or con continuing, if you like. Thank you so okay. much. So thank you very much, Cristina. Thank you very much, Enrique. Uh, okay. Thank you very much, everyone, for being there. Uh, you have their email addresses. If not, mm -hmm. we're going to send you the recordings and also the materials. So you know, just feel free to get in touch with them if you need anything. And we'll see you in the next webinar. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.